What is up guys, this is Jay here, Jay Media one and today we are back with another product tech review. Today we got the Tab A7. It's a new tablet on the market, we thought we'd open it up and check it out because we've been focusing a lot on Apple products and I wanted to do something for you Samsung users out there as well. So we're going to do an unboxing, we're going to open it up, do the tech specs, check it all out, see what it's capable of and we're going to take you guys along for the ride. Let's go. So here it is, the Tab A7, just comes in this white box. There's a couple tabs around the side here that we're going to slice open so that we can get a better view. So we're just going to cut here and here, and that should be it. Hopefully it will just fall out, and it does. Now this tablet is pretty cool, it's pretty light, not too heavy, it comes in this little felt material cover here so we get a little bit of protection there from that. There is a flap on this side that's kind of glued down so we're going to go that route and then we can pull it out. This other stuff out of the way. And that's it right there. It's got a little camera on the back side, little camera bump here. We got a couple toggle switches at the top. There's a couple cameras on the front then there's a, a little slot on the bottom for a SIM card and then there's a couple speakers right here that we can see and then there's also a couple speakers on the other side we have a little sp slot for a headphone jack here and then we got the USB-C slot and you can see the tiny little hole here and that's going to be for the microphone and so that's it that's all that's there it's nice and silver kinda cool color let's see what else is in the box so we got a quick reference guide basically how to set it up get everything started and this side we got our wall plug just a regular USB A goes in there and then it comes in this little box there comes a USB C so USB C to USB A and this kind of feels a little chintzy I'm sure this doesn't put out a whole lot of wattage let's see it's um, 0 0.30 amps so this isn't going to be a fast charger whatsoever which is fine. It also has a little tool here that's going to be to remove the SIM tray so that we can put a SIM card in this and we will have LTE capability if we do that. So that's kind of neat. And that's it. That's the rest of the box. Nothing else to see there. So typically to turn these on you just hold down the power button or the on button up here in the corner. And these things like to be into landscape mode. So once we flip it on there, you can see it's starting to come on. Powered by Android, secured by Knox. And I'm not sure what version of Android this comes with. There's a lot of different versions out there. The only thing that I really dislike about Android systems versus Apple is that their updates are super sporadic and they're really hard to find sometimes. The cool part about these is you can do some different things. You can install different operating systems. You can do jailbreaking and things like that. So we get the welcome screen here. Just says press the start button. So we're going to do that. Uh, you have to accept all the terms and conditions as normal. And then next. The touch display feels responsive. It's not super um, difficult as far as that goes. Feels pretty good so far. The display is pretty nice. It's clear. Very, very, very reflective. I can definitely see my face in it even when it's fully on. We'll adjust the brightness and see if that helps. Okay, so it asks you to choose a Wi-Fi network. We've chosen our Wi-Fi network and we are connected now. So then we just hit next and it's checking for updates. It's going to make sure everything is updated on the system. Like I said, Android's just a little bit different when it comes to the way that they update their systems. So now we're just in the point where it's getting the tablet ready. And it's doing that right now and it says it may take a few minutes. So once it gets ready, we're going to come back. We'll show you what it looks like once it's on and then we'll kind of go from there, guys. Okay, guys, so one thing we can show you while it's getting set up is on um, the SIM tray. So the SIM tray, if you look on the edge, is right here. And we can just push this little pin inside of there. And the SIM tray just pops right out. And then you just got to pry it out a little bit. And you can get your SIM card 
put in that slot. Once it's in that slot, you can shut it. A lot of phones and tablets nowadays have what's called a digital imprint or a digital SIM card, so you don't need to install a SIM card anymore. Most phones and tablets come with those. I'm not sure if it has that, but we're going to find out. This also has face recognition. It lets you set it up for pattern recognition. You can put a PIN or a password. So we're going to set up face recognition just to see how well it does. It says before you register your face, you need to set a screen lock, a PIN or a password. So we're just going to set up a PIN real fast. And right there it says PIN set. So now it wants us to rotate the tablet so that the cameras are at the top. And we're just going to hit continue. <coughs> And right there you can see it says stay on lock until swipe. Uh, when you unlock with face recognition, you'll stay in the lock screen until you swipe it. I'm going to turn that off because I think that's annoying. Uh, brighten the screen's fine. And it gives a second here. And for some reason, it just completely bypassed it. We're going to try to set that up again. But it's going through all its steps to load everything up. We're going to skip that. And we're finally all set up. So it comes with this nice little wallpaper display here. Um, you got your home button. This is going to be for your different apps or your recently used apps. You got your little app drawer tray down at the bottom as well. Your Google search bar is right there, and then your Play Store, of course. It's pretty smooth. Um, it's not very poppy when you transition back and forth. It's pretty smooth as far as that goes. Uh, if you slide down on these, you can see that there's some notifications up here in the corner that it's downloading certain apps and doing things like that as well. So it just popped open. So it obviously set up face recognition, which is super weird because I didn't have to do really anything for that to work. And now it keeps playing a resetting sound. It says the face recognition is registered, so you don't have to like lift up your head or rotate your head around like you do on like a Apple device, for example. It just it already looked at it and no, uh, notified where my face was, and and it opens right up. If I turn it off, not turn it off, but if I put it to sleep, and I click on the button to open it. There it is. And I turned off the ability for you to have to swipe up, so it just automatically opens. I really like that feature. I wish that Apple would do that because that is, it's just an extra step. Why do you have to swipe up? It should just open right up. Super simple. So I really like that. You got a little browser here where you can set up some settings. It's pretty fast. It's not super, uh, it's not super slow as far as responsiveness. It's pretty fast, actually. The uh, the display, I don't believe, is uh, 120 hertz refresh rate, so it's not going to be ProMotion or anything like that. Uh, it's asking me to update the browser, so I got to do all my updates and things like that. I do like what I do like about the Samsungs is the search bar that automatically comes on the display, which is super cool. It's like a little widget. You can tap for weather information and things like that. So we're going to use a little bit. Uh, go over some tech specs with you guys on what it can do and then you guys can decide if it's right for you. So you guys can see here that there is a little menu, some features we can do on here. You can uh, That's your Wi-Fi obviously, you got your sound options here. So you can change your ringtone, your media, um, you can mute it completely. You also have the auto rotate option, airplane mode, you can do a power saving mode. This eye comfort shield just changes the temperature of the screen so it keeps it cool for, you know, blue light using warmer colors at night. Makes it a little bit easier on your eyes. You have a do not disturb, a dark mode. And then this has Dolby Atmos for the sound, which is kind of nice. So we also have those features as well. And then you got your Google Play Store. Samsung has their own little note app here. Okay, so the camera's pretty good. It allows you to zoom. You could change the aspect ratio, you can set a timer on it. Uh, it does have the option to do video as well. It's definitely not going to be the best, um, but it should take some pretty decent photos. If you're going to use this for scanning, things like that shouldn't be too bad. 
I like how they have the calculator app built in. I don't believe that Apple still has a calculator app on their iOS, which is crazy. So you have that. Um, your back button, your home button, things like that are all right here. You can close all your apps pretty easy there as well. And then Microsoft automatically puts Office on there and Outlook and all that. So you have all those options. Um, there is a clock feature and then a calendar feature. And then you also have um, a feature for your contacts that you can add there. And you got little folders so that you can save all your images and your files. So that's pretty neat. Um, we're going to try to load up some music and see how that sounds. You guys can hear the, the sound on this. It's not too bad. You got your rocker switch over here. This is fully cranked. And we ordered the four pack because why not? And you can hear the sound coming out of both angles there. Let's search for... song here so you can hear it with music. Just gonna do a quick lapse of this because I don't want any copyright strikes. I get up, I get down, and I'm jumping around, and the rock is pretty loud. It's a comfortable night. The speakers aren't the best, but they do get pretty loud, so that's pretty cool. So that's just a sample of what the speakers sound like. Um, like I said, the camera, I'm going to try to flip it to the, the front-facing camera. Okay, whatever. So if we flip it to the front-facing ca camera here, the camera's on the side, which I kind of like that because when you're in landscape mode, the camera's on top, and that's kind of where it should be. So that's kind of nice. And then we have the uh, live focus, where it'll focus just on my face. And then it should blur everything out in the background, which it does a pretty good job of. You have the video option here as well. So we could take a little video with that. It is a bit laggy. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect. The thing that I do like about it is that um, you don't have to worry so much about covering the camera with your thumb, which is the natural position for your thumb when you are um, when you are trying to do like a FaceTime video or, or a Zoom call or anything like that. There is an option up here to do high definition, so you can do HD, but you're stuck to 30 frames a second, which is kind of to be expected. There is some effects. You can put on a few different effects there as well. Just some little things that are different. Um, if you go to more, it lets you do a panorama, there's a hyperlapse, uh, and then there's, let's see what else they got here. We got a pro, and then a panorama, and then a food. And then you can decorate, you got this little deco thing where it'll make you look like an animal or, or something like that, so that's different. It's kind of like one of those Snapchat uh, effects, things like that. So it's not too bad guys, it's got a lot of cool features, it's pretty nice. I'm going to try to use it for a little while and see how it turns out. Um, you can see that the the display refreshes pretty fast. You, you can see a little bit of uh, the motion in there, but it's not real bad as far as the blur effect goes. It's definitely not a super high refresh rate, but it should be good enough for daily tasks and things like that. Alright guys, if you like this video make sure that you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel so that you can see when we get some more updates, some more videos on some new cool tech gadgets. And until then, we will see you next time. Later, guys.